Well, we got a uh, 2000, I think nine or eight, maybe a 2007 Toyota Prius here for diagnostics. Customer said the car doesn't move. However, the tow truck driver told me that he drove it up onto his truck. And then when he dropped it off, I turned it around and pulled it into here. But the red triangle of death is on. All the indicator lights are, or the, the you know, the bad lights are all on on the dashboard. So uh, we're just going to do some diagnostics and try to find out what's going on. What we're looking here is the block voltages of the high voltage battery. It was complaining that block 14 was, was uh, low. And here's block 14. 1738 but looks like 13 is also low and really overall because this is a lot of information to look at the main thing you want to look at is your max voltage and your minimum voltage they need to be no more than one volt apart and it's close it's almost a full volt and a lot of the cells are low. So here we're two, almost two volts down. Overall condition, this battery is is not doing well. So we're looking at like replacing the battery. Yeah, I think we are. That's going to get really expensive really quick, isn't it? Yes. Now, what's what's the average price of a battery not wholesale? It varies. It it varies from person to person. I can't tell you an average. Hmm. I can get them for about twenty five hundred dollars. See here. It's also telling me which ba which battery has the maximum voltage and which battery has the lowest voltage. And right now, 14 and 13 block. Which is what I was seeing on the grid. All right, now that I got that information, I need to take this out for a test drive to see how well the car drives. All right. got really really low power and watching the charge display the battery charges up very quickly and discharges really really quickly and by battery I mean the high voltage battery so pretty sure this is going to need a high voltage battery okay see what we're going to need we're going to need a high voltage battery we need to then run it I want to Pull a spark plug and take a look at the tune because the engine didn't feel like it was making a whole lot of power but that can also be the problem with the battery I just want to pull a spark plug wasn't very tight Spark plugs have been changed recently, but it's very sooty. I don't know if you can see that, but see that? A lot of soot, a lot of fuel. It's running rich, uh, but they're clean overall. The soot is no big deal. The, the, the spark can get through that, but it tells me a condition of how the engine's running. And I'm right, it's under power. It's, it's got low power. 
But I don't need to worry about the, the spark plugs themselves. It just tells me a, the condition of how the engine's running. Run a bit on the rich side. And I would suspect that it's the computer's trying to make the engine work harder than it needs to be than uh, to compensate for the power or the lack of power that's in the battery, the high voltage battery. But on my, my test drive, the, uh, the high voltage battery had discharged really quick. And my test drive is only a mile. And uh, it discharged to almost gone, to almost empty, no power. And then it recharged to two thirds back by the time I returned. That tells me that the battery, the high voltage battery capacity is very short, it's very small. So yes, we're gonna need a high voltage battery in this thing. All right. All right, so at this point I need to go and uh, build up my estimate for the customer and uh, give him a call and uh, see what we're gonna do after this. All right, so battery's out. This is the replacement one. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't see us actually taking the battery out, but that's fine. So what I'm doing now is taking this cover off so that uh, when I get it installed into the car, I can hook the high voltage cables to it. This battery is made by Dorman and uh, it's a remanufactured battery. So there's our cover. And then we also have, this is our safety switch. We'll go in here. That gets put on when we're done with the job. I also got to note the warranty date. Okay, so when you buy a remanufactured from a parts supplier, you do not get just the battery. The cells are here, but you also get a uh, high voltage computer and the relays. So it's a very economical replacement to get the whole thing. You don't have to worry about taking it apart. You don't have to worry about having to deal with the high voltage and it's all good. Uh, this comes with covers. Now, if without these covers, if I was touching this, I would be fried. So that's nice to have that those covers there. And now it's time to install it. All right, so stage one. <laughs> Let me get in the car. And stage two. So these are the high voltage cables that the battery feeds. Whenever you disconnect your battery, you need to disconnect your your 12 volt battery for oh about six or seven minutes some guys go with 10 minutes before you touch these and the reason is there are capacitors in the uh, DC to DC converter that uh, stay charged and it takes about 10 minutes for them to discharge and so you still have power here all right so now stage three is just lining the battery up with these curve ends on all four spots. And it just about falls right into place. Now it's time to start putting everything back in.
All right, and we're done. So uh, we've got the battery installed. And it's, I have already test drove it. It has made a huge difference in the power. Uh, we have a slight hill just up the road here. The car was struggling when I first got to the car. It was struggling to go up that hill. Uh, had to nearly floor it just to get it up to 40 miles an hour. Uh, now it moves effort, effortlessly and uh, it's getting good gas mileage as well. So we hope that we